Algebra 2, 2.3, solve a formula for a specified letter. It's going to be for a specific letter. A formula is a rule we follow to do a specific calculation, and they're usually presented as equations. The formula for finding wattage is W equals EI, where the E stands for voltage and the I stands for resistance. Now, I know that sounds kind of silly because you'd say, well, why don't they use V for voltage and R for resistance? Well, V usually stands for volume in a formula, and R usually stands for rate. So they gave it an E and an I. We can solve this formula for the specific variable by following the same rules we use for solving an equation. To solve for E, we can isolate the E by dividing both sides by the I. We end up with W divided by I equals E. See? We solved it for E. If we want to solve it for i, we can divide both sides by the e and get w over e equals i. We can also multiply both sides by the reciprocal of i as 1 over i, and that will create 1i over 1i, and we'll have 1w over i on this side. We've created a 1 here, which then, because of identity property, ends up just being an e, but the first way is quicker. Just dividing it by i, because we go right to it, see? That first way is quicker, but it's better when fractions are involved to do it this way. When there's fractions in the formula, multiplying each side by the reciprocal of that fraction can be easier, all right? So take a look at this. If we need to solve this for b, we've got this fraction here. So instead of dividing each side, we're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 5 halves as 2 fifths. And that's going to help us start isolating that b. It won't do it completely, but it's going to get us on the road. So we multiply both sides of the equation by that reciprocal of 5 halves as 2 fifths, and we get 2 fifths a equals b minus 20. Now we can add 20 to each side to make a zero pair here and totally get b by itself, can't we? Now we have 2 fifths a plus 20. Now remember, this 2 fifths is the coefficient of a, so we're not going to add the 20 to the 2 fifths. This 20 is off by itself, see? This 2 fifths has become the coefficient of a, all right? Look at this one. It says solve for m. We have h equals 2r plus 3m. We can start by subtracting this 2r from each side of the equation to isolate the 3m and the m on its own. And we take away the 2r, and we get h minus 2r equals 3m. Now we can just divide each side by the coefficient 3. We get h minus 2r over 3 equals m. See? Just divide each side by that coefficient, and it's pretty quick, isn't it? There's no fractions in this. If it says to solve for p, and we've got a equals p plus prt, well, the right side can be factored. We can do p times 1 plus rt. We can divide each side by 1 plus rt to isolate this p. This becomes a 1, doesn't it? And now we've got a over 1 plus rt on this side equals p. We could have multiplied both sides by the reciprocal of 1 plus rt as 1 over 1 plus rt, but there were no fractions. So just dividing it by 1 plus rt was quicker. It got us right to our answer. See? So if the original formula contains a fraction, it's easier to multiply each side by the reciprocal because there's already a fraction there. But if the original formula doesn't contain a fraction, it's a lot easier to just divide to isolate the variable. So take a look at these. Should we multiply by the reciprocal or should we just go straight and divide to isolate the variable? There's no fraction here. So to solve for L, we can just divide both sides by the W right away and get A over W, right? That's the formula for area. How about this one? Well, to solve for M, there's no fraction here, so we can just divide both sides by c squared, couldn't we? We can just divide both sides by c squared to isolate that m. That's a formula for relativity. Does that look familiar? 
Einstein's energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Here we have C equals 5 ninths times F minus 32. And to solve for F, well, there's already a fraction here, so we can multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this 5 ninths as 9 fifths. That's just like what we did over here, see? We multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 5 halves. We can multiply both sides of the equation by 9 fifths, it's reciprocal. This is a formula to go to uh, change Fahrenheit into Celsius. Now look at this one. This can confuse a lot of people. We have F equals MV squared over R, and it says to solve for M. What do you do? We've got two letters up here as a numerator. Well, remember, this really means M times V squared over R, because this M can be put over a 1, can't it? So it can be written as MV squared over R, so if you think about splitting them apart, you'll be able to see that this can be multiplied on both sides by the reciprocal of V squared over R as R over V squared. See? We just multiply both sides by the reciprocal of that fraction. We just split these apart. See? Wouldn't that give us Wouldn't this solve for M then? The M would be isolated because this would make a 1. See? It's a physics formula concerning centripetal force for circular motion. All right? So if you're planning on taking physics or anything, you're going to come across stuff like that. Just remember, you can split it apart. It's M times V squared over R. See? Easy, isn't it? Just don't think it's so hard and think, oh, there's got to be an easy explanation for this. Sometimes people make things harder than they really are. Our next video is 2.4a, and we're going to talk about inequalities and their solutions and graphing them on a number line, all right? If you want to go to the Algebra 2 playlist, it's growing every day. I'm adding videos to it every day. You can catch up a review for chapter tests or uh, midterms or finals. And I'm also going to put a link to uh, my formulas, okay? And there's a word problems playlist and formulas, all right? So I'll see you next video. Let's start talking about inequalities. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.